Hauter on talk had a Kahir Lee Hoffigi board on Kunde. Ah, for the car to wear the year. On behalf of the Centenary Committee, I would like to add our kid, me the Porsche, to Dr. Mickey and Mrs. Loftus for making the time to come here to be with us tonight. Um, many of you may, you may not know that Mickey was in Perlis last night for the centenary celebrations at the, at the very birthplace of the GAA in his hotel. Tonight he is with us, and tomorrow he goes to Dublin to share some meetings. And on Sunday he has the the test match with the Australians. And he has another function on Sunday night. And so on. And that in essence spells out the measure of the man. Committed, dedicated, cultured. A man I, I have had the privilege of knowing for almost 25 years, both in a professional capacity and as a personal friend, I have to say. He is one of those men whom Chesterton might have been describing when he wrote, There are those who, even in their youth, seem to have existed for a long time. They bear the mark of the elemental thing the things that recur. They are as old as springtime, as old as David, as old as you. I would not know where to begin to list the achievements of Dr. Mickey Loftus. And a record of his achievements sounds like an entry in the Guinness Book of Records. A Mayo County minor footballer in the late 40s, Mayo senior team panellist in their All-Ireland winning years of 1950 and 1951, that magnificent Mayo team. Please God, they'll have a, another good one shortly. Captain of the Mayo junior team, which won the All-Ireland in 1957. All-Ireland minor final referee. He flew back from New York to do that. All-Ireland senior final referee on two occasions. Former President of the Connacht Council, Chairman of the immensely successful Centenary Committee, Chairman of the Rules Revision Committee. And while he was doing all that, he had time to take part in the raising of funds for the Rehabilitation Institute, and he and Mrs. Loftus raised no less than £30,000 when he was elected High King of Connacht two years ago. And uh, I suppose it's no wonder. He was elected to be old man of the year in 1982. And now, the supreme accolade, president-elect of the Gaelic Athletic Association, and preparing to don the mantle of office at next Congress to steer the association through the challenging mid-80s and to chart the course to the end of the century. He is well fitted to the task. He is he is the epitome of the man George Bernard Shaw had in mind when he wrote, Some men see things as they are and wonder why. Give me the man who dreams of things that never were and asks, why not? Mickey, a thousand thanks for coming here tonight, for being with us. Be assured of, your, of our total support in the years ahead. May the Lord rise with you.